So let's continue and go to 1 Corinthians 2 verses 12 through 14. And it says, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. So here we see, as Paul continues to write to the church of Corinth, how this spiritual wisdom is received. Um, it's received through the Holy Ghost, through the Spirit of God. And it's this spiritual wisdom and knowledge and understanding that comes about after placing your faith in Jesus Christ. And we see how to receive, receive the Spirit of Promise um, throughout the Bible, and it's through faith in the finished redemptive work of Jesus Christ, not of ourselves, not of our works. Um, Ephesians 1, 12 through 14 is an excellent place to see this, which states that we should be to the praise of His glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed. You were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance and told the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of His glory. So we see how to receive eternal life, how to receive the Spirit of promise. It's through hearing the gospel, the gospel unto our salvation, and believing the gospel, the true gospel, not what we do, what Jesus Christ did, His death, burial, and resurrection. That's what we trust in, His wondrous work not our own. It's what He did. We don't do anything to overcome death. It's through His resurrection that has already overcame death. And we will see that one day. It's a promise of God. It's good as done. And you rest in that. You rest in His finished promise. You're sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise unto the day of redemption. And let's continue in 1 Corinthians 3 after now we know the true gospel. How to receive the gospel, hearing, believing, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God, and then having that spiritual conversion, that spiritual rebirth, being born again by the power of God. Um, it says in 1 Corinthians 3, 18, 19, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore, let no man glory in men. So, we don't glory in ourselves or others when it comes to receiving wisdom, the true wisdom, spiritual wisdom. The only perfect book we have in this world is the Bible, Scripture, the inerrant Word of God, the infallible word of truth through the scriptures through the king james bible that's where we turn to find the spiritual wisdom heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away and we see these words we see jesus god manifest in the flesh and seeing his life and then his death burial and resurrection that speaks to our spirit we also see in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We see the personification of the Word in the person of Jesus Christ, who led a sinless life and died on the cross, and then was resurrected on the third day, overcoming death for us through His bodily resurrection. We also see the Word in the words of the Bible, the written Word. And then as we read the Bible to others and teach others, those with the Spirit, you need Spirit and Scripture. And those with the Spirit, through faith in Jesus Christ, and with the Holy Scriptures, whom those prophets speak, their spoken words are the eternal wisdom of God. And so, we hear, we believe, and we are sealed. 
Father Spirit of Promise. 